Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Wednesday, December 21st. And I remind you, lots of great stuff is at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us at 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve for carols, candles, communion. It will be a wonderful celebration. My scripture today is Luke chapter 1, verse 28. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. This is the word of the Lord. Our scripture today for this daily message is, of course, the approach of the angel. And two women were approached, Elizabeth and Mary. And of course, Mary is the mother of Jesus and Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist. Women have been especially important in Christian history. From Lydia, who converted when given the good news by Paul. Of course, Mary Magdalene, a constant companion of Jesus and one who supported his ministry. And it continues Today, I would say in most churches, women are the backbone and women are the life and love, the generosity of every congregation. Well, recently there was an archaeological dig in Great Britain and it uncovered a treasure trove from the 7th century. But as they investigated, they found something quite surprising, but quite wonderful. You see, in the 7th century, Christianity was still struggling to overcome paganism. And it was not sure and certain that Christianity would prevail. In fact, there were several great purges where Christians were persecuted. But in the seventh century, what about this treasure trove? Well, it was jewelry and other objects, almost all with Christian symbolism, who belonged, which belonged to a Christian woman who was, by everything they discovered, quite powerful and she was a Christian leader, and people rallied to her to strengthen their faith. Wouldn't you like to know more about her life? We hope we will get to know more, but for now, all we know is that she was important, powerful Christian, and that people flocked to her. I just love stories such as this. I love hearing about people who overcame all of the societal and cultural norms to become prominent, not because of anything they are, but because of their faith in Jesus Christ. And I thank this woman for planting seeds that eventually led to Great Britain being a Christian nation, and of course, later Scotland, to have the Presbyterian Church as its state church. I'm glad for the legacy of faith. I know there are many men who have preserved the faith and shared it generously, but I want to give a special thanks today in honor of this 7th century woman for all the women that have contributed to my faith and to the faith we all know, love, and share. Let us pray. Lord, as we thank you for Mary and Elizabeth, may we thank you for Christian women who have stood firm in the faith through the centuries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.